As we've been talking about showing and not telling in our writing, one of the strategies we could use is using dialogue. Using dialogue is, is tricky at times, but this PowerPoint will help you along the way. So here's our overview of what dialogue is. If you look on the left hand side, dialogue, you will often tell who, the, who is talking and how they talked. Sometimes the most common one you hear is said or asked. Um, in this left hand side you see the word she. She is a pronoun. So that means prior to this, we the writer has already told you who this she is and now they can use the pronoun. So here's our overview. We can learn about the people and events and places in a story by paying attention to what the characters say. Here's an example. One morning, a mosquito saw an iguana drinking at a water hole. The mosquito said, Iguana, you will never believe what I saw yesterday. Try me, said the iguana. The mosquito said, I saw a farmer digging yams that were almost as big as I am. So this is a little excerpt from Why Mosquitoes Buzz in People's Ears. In this story, the dialogue tag said tells us when a character is talking and identifies the character. You're going to find out later that we have other options other than always using said or asked or the basic ones that you always hear about. So what's the purpose of dialogue? Dialogue tags like he said or she said or she explained have two main purposes. One, they tell the reader who is speaking of the source for the quotation. So if you were writing a story about three people at a beach, you would include dialogue tags so the readers would know who of the three people was actually talking. Otherwise, you'd be very confused. The next one is to show the reader's actions related to the comments. So if you're writing about three people who are sharing secrets, for instance, you might use a dialogue tag, whispered, to describe how they were talking. And we'll get into the word list after, where you'll see a lot of different options like whispered. Now let's go to an example. An example, this is what a dialogue would look like without any um, tags involved. Did you see that? See what? I did. So here there is absolutely no way of us knowing who was talking and how they were talking. Because if we put this tag here, did you see that? Said Johnny in a, in a scared voice. That would tell us how who said it and how he felt while he said it. Now here's the revision. Did you see that? Keisha asked. See what? Jenny said. I did, Maria whispered. So when I say I did, and I see this tag, I can now change my the way I say it and say, I did. Maria whispered. So that tells you how it might be taught, might be said. So in this version, the readers can tell who said what and how they said it. Now here's a variety. He said and she said may be all the story needs, and that often will work. However, there are a lot of other dialogue tags, and these are a few examples. You'll see on our word list provided later uh, many more examples that you could use. So sometimes you might actually leave out a dialogue tag, but you have to make sure you're actually clear of who is talking. What is troubling you, son? School, the boy said. So it's obvious here that the father is talking to his son based on the language he used in the actual dialogue. And here's your last tip for the day. Choose dialogue tags that match the situation. For instance, choose the tag he asked only when the dialogue is a question. Uh, as you can see in the next example, what happened out there? The coach asked. So it says who said it as well. Work for balance. Using a variety of dialogue tags can make your paper more interesting. And you'll practice this later on the, our document called Dialogue Practice. And then put the subject before the verb. Dialogue tags follow a basic sentence structure. The subject comes before the verb. Choose the coach yelled rather than yelled the coach. So if you listen to that, you put the subject before the verb. Okay. Now, we're going to move into the next document that I have, which is going to be practice. Um, we have two different types. One is a comic strip, and I'm going to talk to you about 
how that comic strip works. <clears throat> works. And then we have a dialogue practice. So I'm going to move into something that will be your work for the next day.